Hey guys, this is the Poor Man's Downrigger. Um, I'm making this video in response to another video I made uh, about how to troll a planers, and this is the third method that I talked about. It's my favorite method. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how, how to make it. Um, if you have not seen that video, I'll put the link in the description below. Take a look at that video. Um, it's basically the ins and outs of planer fishing, so if you don't know how to do that, watch that video, and it'll teach you everything you need to know. So follow along, and, and we'll make this uh, Poor Man's Downrigger. Okay, so we're going to be using 250 pound monofilament line to build the poor man's downrigger. And uh, 250 pounds is about perfect. Um, and I like the mono because, yes, it doesn't cut through the water as good as like braid will, but it's a lot easier to reel in and it, and it lasts a long time. It's very abrasion resistant. So I used a 250 pound mono. You're going to need uh, two plastic, two plastic or uh, stainless steel thimbles. You're going to need three. 1.6 millimeter crimps. If the line doesn't fit on, in a 1.6 millimeter, you can go to 1.9, but if you can use 1.6, definitely do that. You're gonna need a heavy duty snap swivel. This is uh, 350 pound snap swivel. I recommend going at least 350 pound. You can go up as high as you want. And you're gonna need a plastic bead. Okay, it's just a standard fishing bead. And you're gonna need a, uh, for this video, I'm gonna use a number six planer. Um, but, uh, and which I recommend starting with number six and then working your way down the water column with different planer systems. Um, and then you're gonna need some uh, crimpers. And that's it. If you don't have a, if you don't have a, uh, any thimbles, plastic or stainless steel thimbles, you can use a loop protector as well and you can just cut it to size and this will be good too. And you technically don't even need that. It just helps add extra strength and extra abrasion resistance to the loops. So I use it because I want to build these once and I want them to last a long time. So, all right, that's what you're going to need. So let's get started building it. All right, the first side, we're just going to do a the snap swivel. So this side, the snap swivel is actually going to be on the boat side of this system. Um, this is going to snap right onto a cleat or something on the boat. Very simple here. Take a crimp, put it through. Then you're gonna take your plastic thimble, okay? You're gonna put it through the snap swivel, just like that, okay? Go ahead and put it through. Then you're gonna take your line, go through the same loop. Okay, and then go back through the crimp, get it nice and tight, okay, and then crimp it down. I like to crimp twice, one on each side, give it a good cinch, should be good to go. And that's it. That's one side, this is the side that's going to actually clamp onto the boat. And on your other side, again, this is a hundred feet of mono. Just for the video, I'm only using a short piece, but this is a hundred feet of mono. And on the other side, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your fishing bead, okay? You're gonna put both crimps. Okay, both crimps and your fishing bead. And then on this side, you're gonna be hooking up to the loop on your planer. So this loop that goes up and down the rod here, that's where you're gonna to hook to, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and put the thimble through there. This is probably less, you probably do not need this thimble here, um, but I put it anyway. Like I said, it's just extra protection. Go through with your line. Okay, and on this side, you're gonna to wanna to leave about 12 to 14 inches tag end. Okay, so get it, and I'll show you why in a second here. But leave a bunch of tag end here. And then you can go through your first sleeve, pull it through. Okay, get all the way tight as much as you can. Crimp that on there. Okay. 
that crimped connection will never fail. It's such a good connection, you have nothing to worry about here. So, right here we're at this point. Next thing you're going to do, your other crimp, you're going to take your tag end and go through that crimp. Okay? You're leaving about a foot of space between the crimps. Okay? And you're going to go ahead and crimp that on there as well. Okay? Any excess, cut it off, and there you go. So now what's going to happen is your bead is going to rest on the crimp right here. Okay? And when you go to hook up your snap swivel and rubber band, it's going to actually travel down and it's going to stop at this bead. Okay? That way, when you're in the water and you're trolling, there's no, uh, the main line doesn't actually rub up against the uh, plane, the top of the planer itself. You don't want that to happen. So. Um, that's just extra protection because this is going to be in the water about like this, okay? And if your line comes all the way down to the bottom here, what's going to happen is the line is going to be rubbing up against the top here because your line is coming out this way, okay? And you don't want that. You don't want a, a fish to strike and then uh, this to actually cut that line. That, that would not be good. So that's it. Um, the... Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, it just takes a few minutes, it's a lot faster when you're not actually talking about it, it just takes a few minutes here. Um, but yeah, again, you're going to use 250 pound mono, 100 feet, this is a number 6 planer, okay? If you want to build another one, um, you can go down to maybe 60 feet of mono, 250 pound mono, and then use like a number 4 planer or something. That way, you're covering different depths of the water column and your different distances back from the back of the boat. That way you don't have any tangle issues when you're trolling two lines. And um, that's what I do. So I'll run normally like a number six and a number four planer together. Number six will have 100 feet and then the number four will have anywhere from 50 to 70 feet of line depending on, depending on which one I'm using. So, um, but that's about it. It's pretty simple. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'll, I'll uh, be happy to answer anything. And, uh, Please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Um, I definitely uh, want to grow this channel and uh, I need you guys to help me out with that. So I uh, appreciate that and uh, thanks for watching.